I'm Donovan, and SketchUp for iPad is my favorite way to model. And so today, I wanted to talk about different drawing modes on SketchUp for iPad. I'm an artist, and so when SketchUp released SketchUp for iPad, I got super excited because of the ability to use SketchUp using a pencil, which is a medium that is really intuitive to me. And so I was super excited to see the ability to 3D model using a pencil. And since the moment I first used it, it has become my preferred way of 3D modeling inside of SketchUp. So let's grab your Apple Pencil and get started. First, I need a model to work with. I wanna use the model that I just created in the desktop version of SketchUp and bring it into my iPad. And I can do that by using Trimble Connect. So now that I have my model, I wanna create another block using the Apple Pencil. I wanna show you that there are two different ways to use the pencil in SketchUp. So we're gonna go into settings, and here we have just draw mode or click move click mode. The click move click mode is a mode where you can utilize the pressure sensitivity on the Apple Pencil to click, move, and then click again to finish. Just tapping the screen won't get the tools to work. You have to use enough pressure on your pencil to signify a click, move, and then click again. This mode is good if you're doing a lot of inferencing and you need to get points just right before moving forward. But for me, my favorite mode back in settings is the just draw mode. With Just Draw, you press down with your pencil, draw your shape, and then lift your pencil up to finish. It's more freehand than the click move click mode, and even if I get a size or dimension wrong, what I can do is come up to the dimensions box, add the exact dimensions that I need, and it adjusts it. For me, the Just Draw mode is a lot more intuitive, so it's the one that I use most often. To make my new cube, I'm gonna use another feature of the Apple Pencil, Auto Shape. With Auto Shape, what I can do is draw the shape that I want, add a line to signify that I want it to be a three-dimensional component, and it generates one automatically. This isn't quite the right size, so what I can do is I can just go into the component and then make my adjustments. So now that I have my cube, I wanna add some texture. I can come into 3 Warehouse, find some textures that I want, and then add them to my cube. With the pencil, you can also utilize the double tap feature on the pencil. So to do that, go into Settings, and then you can change what the double tap feature does. I'm probably gonna use eraser the most, so I'll select eraser. And anytime I'm working in SketchUp, if I see something that I need to erase, I can just double tap and then go about erasing it. Now the last thing I wanna show you is markup mode. With markup mode, I can use the Apple Pencil to draw on my model. Make notes. Or reminders for me for later. This feature can also be used if you're collaborating with another designer, but since it's just me, I just make notes for myself. So there's some quick ways to use the pencil when modeling in SketchUp. If you've never used SketchUp before and you wanna try it out on the iPad, you can sign up for a trial and try out SketchUp on the iPad. Which SketchUp version is your favorite? Leave a comment down below and let me know, and I'll see you next time.